Okay, this is a Dr. Clark magnet, magnetic pulsar. I just received it right now. Uh, this basically has um, a low setting. When you turn it down to one here, uh, when you turn it on, this will pulse every second for 20 minutes. If you turn it way up, you give a stronger pulse every five seconds for 20 minutes. So you're getting 12 pulses a minute and or 60 pulses a minute at a very light pulse. And all you do is you turn it on automatically starts working you see it work it goes fast and you can turn on the audible you can hear it going off every time there's a pulse so if you put the paddle next here you can see see that's you know it's iron in there if you turn it up it's every five seconds That's a much stronger pulse. Now, where you can use this on a body is pretty much anywhere. <laughs> well, the one place you don't use it on is the testicles. It's one place. And also the eyes if you had any kind of eye surgery. But otherwise, it's fine. And um, this has been known to help a lot. I'm going to turn it off right now. Um, it's been known to help a lot with uh, pain management. That I knew about. That I knew about for many years. People feel like they have pain. Somehow this seems to alleviate pain. And, you know, they had this on the Internet. I think there were some doctors out there talking about this, you know, big bucks and all this type of stuff. This machine was $334. Um, it looks like a quality machine. So I'm going to be using it quite often and um, trying to experiment with it. But there's been a number of feedback, you know, and I just can't point to any sites. It's more or less people experiment with these things and they report their results. So it's a hodgepodge of different things, but I think this actually has a hell of a lot more merit to it. And I originally knew about this from Dr. Beck, but he was talking about using the pulsing to move viruses out of the lymph system. And I never really thought about that too much. I says, well, I have like a cheaper one, um, but I really don't need it that much because I work out so much that you know fluids move in and out of my lymph system quite a bit so if I'm using the the, uh, the electrical microelectrical healing currents um, you know I wouldn't have to worry about anything I wouldn't really need to have this too much but then I've been reading on various reporting from different people nobody's selling anything just these are honest people just saying what they found it seems to have healed a lot of things it seems to knock out some kind of pathogens too maybe on the stronger setting and that's where I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it on a strong setting. And uh, the way I'm going to use this is I'll use it for the 20 minutes. Then I'll let it cool down for 40 minutes. Then I'll use it for 20 minutes again. Now this is one of these type of things where you're not going to actually see some kind of results instantly. And you're thinking it's not doing anything maybe. But, you know, I'm not selling this unit or anything. I'm just telling you that I'm going to experiment with it. I just read too many things where people experimented with these units and they've done a lot more than you think now um if you want to look at this one site we heal animals um it's it goes into a lot of different things where they use um something with the magnetate magnetization magnet magnetic pulse excuse me like on the horses and actually it's been known around in this area too because they have the horse racers and everything they use a big, strong magnetic pulser, like much stronger than this, on horses to help heal horses that have problems with your legs. So, you know, if you say about a horse that it heals something, you're not in trouble. If you say it about a person that heals a leg or something, and you're in trouble. But I just have to say I'm going to experiment with this. And I've read too many good things about people who've experimented with these devices. And, uh, you know, in my case, I'm going to use it on various parts of the body and just see how it works.